There's a gradual escalation as Hezbollah intensifies its attacks on military positions in northern Israel. The Lebanese armed group is striking at army assets, but it's still being described as a calculated response to what the group considers provocations by Israel. In recent weeks, the Israeli army has been striking far beyond the usual border regions, targeting what it says are Hezbollah compounds and infrastructure, killing the group's commanders and fighters. The conflict is in a new phase. The United Nations peacekeeping force deployed along Lebanon's southern border says there has been a concerning shift in the exchanges of fire. General Latsara warned that recent events have the potential to put at risk a political solution to these hostilities, adding that currently there, are an, there is an expans expansion and intensification of strikes. Israel appears to be operating with little restraint as it attempts to push Hezbollah away from the border. The army says it wants to create a strong barrier so tens of thousands of residents in northern Israel can return home and live safely. But there are divisions on how to proceed, with some suggesting the stepped-up air campaign could be deterring messages. I think uh, on one hand Israel is trying to use uh, force to negotiate a stronger uh, diplomatic outcome, uh, but there is also the possibility that part of the Israeli government uh, is tempted to solve this uh, situation with the use of force without uh, resorting to a diplomatic and political solution. The U.S., which has been trying to de-escalate tension, says it has been assured by Israel that it wanted to follow a diplomatic path. Israeli officials have acknowledged that a war with Hezbollah would be far more costly than the one in Gaza. But reports from Washington suggest there is concern. Without a political settlement, there could be a military operation in the coming months. In November, during a temporary truce in Gaza between Israel and Hamas, there was a week of calm across the Lebanon-Israel border. A new ceasefire in Gaza is now being discussed. Hezbollah has said it would adhere to any truce that is reached on condition that Israel stops firing as well. An agreement involving security guarantees will then have to be negotiated. And while there has been tough rhetoric on both sides, months of steadily rising tensions have largely been kept in check. For the time being, many say the situation is far from an uncontrollable escalation, but there is a risk. Zenechader Al Jazeera, Beirut. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.